We can also add fractions that are set up uh, vertically like this. And actually, it's um, maybe sometimes a little bit easier to look at them vertically. Again, we are adding these two fractions, 7 twelfths plus 1 eighth. In order to add fractions, we must have a common denominator. So since these are different, we're going to have to do that first. So looking at 12 and 8, think about your multiples of 12. I always remember start out with the larger number. So 12 times 1 would be 12, and 8 will not go into that. 12 times 2 would be 24, 8 will go into 24. So that tells us that 24 is our common denominator. Now, let's create those equivalent fractions. 12 times 2 would be 24, so 7 times 2 multiplying by the same thing would be 14. For the bottom fraction, 8 times 3 would be 24, so multiplying the top by the same thing, 1 times 3 would be 3. And now we can add those equivalent fractions. So 14 24 plus 3 24 our denominator stays the same of 24, and 14 plus 3 would be 17. So our answer would be 17 over 24. All right, adding again vertically, we have a denominator of 7 and a denominator of 3. We cannot add these together right now because we need a common denominator. So um, starting off with 7, 7 times 1 is 7 times 2 is 14, times 3 is 21. There's our common denominator, something that both of those will go into. And the more you do these, the better you'll get at that also. Okay, so 7 times 3 is 21, so we do the same thing to the top. 3 times 3 would be 9. For the second fraction, 3 times 7 would be 21, so 1 times 7 would be 7, and now we can add. So our denominator stays the same of 21, and 9 plus 7 would be 16. So our answer here now is 16 over 21.